Well, the measure's proponents vehemently disagree with the high court's decision, a decision Governor Gavin Newsom had hoped for. It's a major ruling from the California Supreme Court. In this unanimous decision, all seven justices on the court ruled the Taxpayer Protection Act, also known as the TPA, must not appear on the election ballot this November. The measure, which had already qualified for the ballot, would have required every new state and local tax and tax increase to be approved by voters. But Governor Gavin Newsom and Democrats in the legislature filed a lawsuit asking the high court to remove it from the ballot, arguing the measure would illegally revise the state constitution and would interfere with the basic function of government. Law professor Chris McKaylee, who was not involved in the case, reviewed the ruling. What they said was is that this initiative represented a fundamental change to our structure of government, and therefore it amounted to an impermissible revision of the constitution, and that's why the voters can't vote on it this November. It's the result Governor Gavin Newsom wanted. His spokesperson writing, we are grateful the California Supreme Court unanimously removed this unconstitutional measure from the ballot. The governor believes the initiative process is a sacred part of our democracy, but as the court's decision affirmed today, that process does not allow for any legal constitutional revision. Democratic legislative leaders echoing a similar sentiment. This from Assembly Speaker Robert Rivas. I'm very pleased the California Supreme Court rejected this unlawful and extreme effort to take power away from local communities to pay for essential services like police and firefighters. But Republicans believe it's a slap in the face to voters. We have the right as, as citizens of California to put, a, put things on the ballot by petition. And that's exactly what we did. It should have been on this fall. They got the courts to change it. It's one party control and it's wrong. Proponents of the ballot measure, including the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association and California Business Roundtable, argued the measure was legal and necessary to give taxpayers more power in a state they say is overtaxed. The Supreme Court has taken that away from you. Most importantly, the governor and the legislature have taken that right away from you. The governor and the legislature do not want you to have that right. They talk about democracy, don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. We're the highest tax state in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, be scared because it's only going to get worse. Be scared. And to be clear, this ruling is final, but the measure's proponents who you just heard from said looking ahead in their words, all options are on the table, including a possible new initiative in 2026. Reporting at the state capitol covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace. Fox 40 News.